Alpha Fair 2014. Welcome to the group exhibit, Hydrogen, Fuel Cells and Batteries. We are actually celebrating our 20 years anniversary, so I welcome you all to uh, sit down, um, get comfortable and enjoy the discussion. There will be lovely ladies walking around for complimentary drinks, so just get seated to enjoy our topic on hydrogen storage solutions for stationary and mobile applications. This subject has been changed, so the actual announced um, topic, Mobi Post, will be discussed on Wednesday in the technical forum. Okay, so now please welcome on stage with me, Mr. Christoph Avril, General Manager of MyTech. Thank you. Hi. Thank Hi. you. Have a seat. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now let's get started with the first question. Just for everyone sitting here, tell us a little bit about the history of MyTech as a company and the development. Yeah, so MyTech is quite a young company, uh, which was created in 2007. Uh, it was first created by four people coming from the world of research, so a community people, uh, which has a sound experience in the field of composite materials and uh, especially the filament welding process applied to uh, compressed gas storage. Uh, so came the idea to the mind to develop a company uh, which will be able to propose uh, innovative, reliable and efficient solutions to store hydrogen. Um, so in the beginning, the company was only four people. Uh, years after years, we, the, the staff grow, uh, the technology also. And now we are uh, quite glad to be uh, 20 people. Yes, so in the beginning, the activity were more dedicated to the development of the product with a lot of uh, hard projects, uh, more focused on the high pressure storage, uh, and then with the uh, solicitation of the customers and uh, with the interest of the market, we had also the will to develop uh, other technology for storage, uh, like uh, the solid, so uh, solid storage uh, technology uh, with Hydride, uh, which allowed to have a lower pressure of storage. Okay, thank you. So how did my take find its way to the group exhibit? Oh, when, you're <laughs> when you deal with hydrogen, you hear very fast about the Hanover Fair. Let's say it's a place to be. Uh, it's now the third time we come here, uh, the third year. In the very beginning of the company, of course, uh, the level of maturity of our product was not high enough to come there. But now that we have uh, good stuff to, to show, uh, we are always very happy to come here. Uh, it's very important to make networking, to create contacts. Uh, we had uh, real things here uh, about business. And uh, yeah, let's bet we will be there next year. <laughs> Hope so. Um, what products does MyTech focus on and on what um, makes them so special? Oh, the particularity of the company now is to propose, yeah, to be able to propose uh, both technology of storage, uh, as I said, high pressure storage with compressed gas, and as well, uh, low pressure storage with hydride. Uh, it makes it possible to have very versatile products and to be able to propose to our customer uh, the most suitable, the most relevant solution uh, according to the requirements they want to meet. Yes. So do I see that right, that MyTech has already found its way to the market? Yes, it's true. Uh, we are presenting here some products uh, at Boost B51. Everyone is uh, welcome to see that. Uh, I'd like to mention, the, let's say, the star product uh, of this year. It's a minibar of the SBB, the Swiss uh, railway company. Uh, it's a minibar which was uh, ordered by Elvetino. And uh, we developed a special way of uh, hydrate storage for this minibar, which is uh, powered by a fuel cell, uh, in strong cooperation with the company Secatech. Uh, the, the previous version of the minibar was uh, powered by a battery in an electrical way. And uh, this version suffered from problems like uh, autonomy, efficiency, so that uh, at the rush hour, uh, not all the people were uh, able to have a coffee. Uh, so we developed um, uh, hydro tank, uh, which were able to to go beyond this problem and to to develop an autonomy and an efficiency that makes it possible to have coffee anytime in the train, even at the rush hours. So that's a great breakthrough. And uh, I mean, it's not only a prototype; uh, it's a real product which was produced at uh, 80 specimens, 80 numbers. And uh, the rollout of the mini bar was made uh, last week, so it's uh, quite new. And now, uh, 26 minibars like that uh, will trip between uh, Bern and Zurich okay. uh, in the public uh, at high speed. And I'd like to highlight the fact that the product we developed, 
uh, is fully satisfied uh, because you can understand that it's a real concern to, to propose a certified safe product when uh, it deals with a large public, a general public at this speed. And uh, as far as I know, uh, the certification of a solid storage tank like that um, for general public application and at the scale of a country here in Switzerland is uh, the first time uh, it's done. So it's something we are quite proud of. So that is very impressive. Yeah. I'm excited now because I think you actually brought one of your products here to the stage. Yes, it's here. So right there. So let's have a look. Yeah, we can so have a look. So you just mentioned it before. So we have here a, I see a yes, here mini it is. bar. Okay, so. Here is a mini bar. So the only thing you have to do to have a coffee is uh, to push a button. Okay, e I can press a button. I know how that works. <laughs> So let's demonstrate. I don't works. believe anything that I don't see, <laughs> so I do want to see if this really works. Oh, all the people yeah. of the fair uh, this morning were very happy to, to test this. Is anybody coffee. hungry for coffee? Yeah, some, as soon as it's messed up. Oh, there's a volunteer. Okay, I, I'll be your waitress for today. Okay, so, I so make some noise. Yeah. And I see no cables. Look at this, nothing. it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it works only with a hydrogen and a fuel cell. And uh, everything was thought in the design of the, of the minibar to make it very simple to use. So everything is automatic. Uh, even the way the, the tank is integrated uh, inside the minibar, everything was thought at the design stage to make it very easy. Uh, the only thing you have to do is to connect it in a quick way. And then, yeah, the coffee is here. The so coffee is ready. Who wants to okay. try? <laughs> I think there was a volunteer right in the front. Yeah, you? Okay. <laughs> Ah, okay. Well, <laughs> let's see if it tastes well. <laughs> Here it is. So Here the go, first coffee. hydrogen coffee. <laughs> I hope it will taste. <laughs> okay, Thank let's you. go back on stage to discuss the details. Yes. Okay. So, my question is, uh, what's the capacity of the tank? Uh, the capacity of the tank in terms of uh, hydrogen weight is uh, 80 grams, what means uh, a volume in uh, normal liters of uh, 800 liters. Uh, and this in a very compact form, because we had uh, to meet very strong requirements for the customer, uh, because as you can see, it's a very compact system. Mm -hmm. uh, and with this capacity, we were able to, to supply energy for coffee for around, let's say, five hours. Uh, it depends, of course, of how much coffee you do in one hour, but uh, between, let's say, between four and seven hours, what is a, a great innovation and a great breakthrough compared to the older solution. Okay, so after that, how are we going to recharge it? Um, yeah, in, in this contract, we uh, also a refueling station dedicated to this product, to the MyTech tank, uh, was built, a very simple one, by Pangas, uh, Switzerland. Uh, and it's very easy refilling station. Uh, you have to connect with a quick connector uh, the, the tank. It happens uh, after the service, at the end of the day. And in one hour, the tank is refilled again and ready to make 50, 60 cappuccino again, like before. That is great. Is there any question from the audience? Mm -hmm. I do have a question. How's the coffee? Very good. Excellent. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Uh, Any other questions? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Uh, regarding hydrogen storage, uh, mm -hmm. many people think it's uh, still like not safe enough. What would you say about it? Like, is there a oh. percentage of storage capacity which becomes um, sicher? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Secure than the other ones? I would say it's say? a one hundred percent safe. And uh, we proved it uh, because, as I mentioned, the tank is fully certified, certified according to the ISO uh, standard, international standard. And uh, we worked in cooperation with the TÜV, uh, Rheinland, in Germany. Uh, so we made a lot of tests to prove the safety of the tank. I mean, full test, two meters high in all directions. We made cycling testing with a vibration phase. Uh, we made a fire test. So the, the tank was put into the fire for several minutes, uh, and we had to prove there was no explosion, things like that. So uh, for the very first time, we were able to prove that this tank is 100% safe, uh, with no leakage, even after whatever can happen. <laughs> Thank you. I have another question. Uh, 
Actually, my question is about whether or not if you have tried different electrical products with this. Technically, I mean, technically speaking, uh, what's the yeah? What is the power envelope that you're looking at maximum? 500, 500 watt or? Uh, I think the fuel cell of the mini bar is around one kilowatt. Uh, but of course, uh, MyTech is proposing uh, a wide range of products, uh, going to uh, let's say several dozen of grams up to several kilograms of grams. And I invite everybody to go to, to visit our booth, B51. And uh, we have uh, bigger products. And uh, I can mention, for example, uh, 800 liters tank uh, for compressed gas technology, uh, which is perfect to store hydrogen, for example, coming from out from an uh, electrolyzer, and uh, which can withstand a very huge pressure for this size, up to 250 bars, for example. Any other questions? Okay. So, um, you mentioned another project that's also uh, yes. can be visited at the booth. Tell us a bit more about it. Uh, it's a product that was ordered by um, uh, Airbus uh, and the Fraunhofer Institute. Uh, it will be installed in the next month in uh, Eliancourt, the site uh, close to Paris of Airbus. And uh, the idea was to be able to store hydrogen uh, coming from an electrolyzer uh, to have some kind of a fully autonomous station uh, taking re renewable resources to produce energy. And uh, this product was uh, like a bit for the, the hydride tank of the minibar, was fully developed in MyTech, uh, the design, uh, the manufacturing process with filament winding. It's a type 4 product, uh, what means uh, with polymeric liner, and uh, a reinforcement of uh, composite material, I mean glass and carbon fibers, what makes it very, very light. It's uh, three times lighter than the, the what you could have with a steel uh, product. And uh, it's 130 kilograms, what is very less, uh, very few for uh, this size of, uh, of product, because it's uh, 800 liters, uh, what makes it possible to store three kilograms of hydrogen at, at a three bo 30 bar, or even uh, 60 uh, at 60 bar, uh, six kilogram of hydrogen, what is huge. And once again, uh, we will make the certification process for this uh, product, because for my tech, the most important is to propose uh, efficient product, of course, but also safe, and uh, product can be used anytime, anywhere, regardless of the temperature of uh, the pressure. Oh, okay. yeah. So, um, the, how do you see the future for MyTech? Are there any other projects planned or other, yes. other markets <laughs> that you are going to hit? Yes, that's uh, for the future. We, we want to, to extend the range of our products uh, regard, regarding the, the success of the first uh, serial production we made. Uh, we are convinced that we are able to propose a very reliable solution for hydrogen storage. Uh, I mentioned two products, but uh, there are more. Uh, they can be seen on our booth. Uh, so we will keep uh, improving the products, uh, keep uh, having a very strong R&D activity uh, with, for example, European funded projects. Uh, I can mention the MobiPost project that my colleague uh, David Chappell will present on Wednesday. Um, and yeah, we want to keep entering the market and uh, the, the future seems very promising for, for our product. Wow, that sounds very promising. Um, thank you very much thank for this you. talk and thank you, audience, uh, for, for your attention. Um, Mr. Christoph can be visited at booth B51 mm. for a more detailed discussion on the products. So thank you very much and thank applause. You. Thank you.